Well, time for another little investigation. Decided to hit up Parker Memorial Cemetery again. Just to do a quick little ghost box session and maybe even... I don't know, maybe see if we could find some uh, EVPs. Well, I say we. I went out by myself. Uh, Cindy wasn't available. So uh, here's what this session looked like. All right, back out here at Parker Cemetery. Figured I'd do a little ghost box session. This is what the uh, Radio Shack 626 It is a hot day in Texas. So, gonna try to find some shade and maybe some of the older graves. Then we'll run a ghost box session. Maybe even do an EVP session just to see. Are there any spirits here that would like to talk? If you come up real close to this device I'm holding in my hand and you speak loudly, it'll be able to hear your voice. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? A lot of Confederate flags, which is cool to see. You know, it's part of our history. I'm not going to get involved in a big debate about politics, but, you know, this has been part of our history. You learn a lesson from that history. All right, quick little ghost box session. We do AM. Let's see. Hello. Hello. What's your name? What's your name? I am listening. Is your grave uh, somewhere close by here? Am I close to your grave? You know that they've gotten rid of the Confederate flag. Does that bother you? Just to verify that you guys can hear me and speak through this, can you tell me my name? Uh, 
Can you say my name, please? Border security. Doing something. That's the old section over there, isn't it? All right, I'm going to walk down. Down towards here. See if you guys want to talk, all right? I was at this point, I went ahead and uh, just sped up the video because there was no relevant replies that were coming through, which is not an uncommon thing. Um, you know, you can have replies that just come through and all of a sudden they stop. Same goes with EVPs when you're using a digital recorder. You'll get replies and then all of a sudden there's just no more conversation. Uh, I've got a, I wouldn't say a theory, but a hypothesis about that, but I'll share that in another video. Just to verify that you're able to talk through this, can you say my name? You can say my first or last name. All right, I'm gonna go and close this out now. I'm gonna close it out in five, four, three, two, one. All right, you're not allowed to follow me. You're not allowed to attach any of my equipment. You gotta leave, all right? Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. And that is that. Well, just wanted to stop by, see if I could catch anything with this uh, ghost box. I've gotten this from a friend of mine, Janet, the uh, Radio Shack 626, and it's one of those difficult radios to hack, this one. There's only a handful of people, I think three that I know of, that have been able to hack this guy, and uh, it's a very good sounding radio. It uh, has some good, decent replies with it. And we used it at Old South Pittsburgh Hospital in Tennessee. Uh, that's when Janet had brought hers. And Janet's a sweetheart. She had uh, actually reached out and uh, found one. And I've been looking for a while for one just because I was a little jealous of the replies that we were getting with it. And she had found one and sent one to me. So thank you very much, Janet. Um, you know, is there a reason why I go out to cemeteries? This cemetery in particular, Cindy and I had gotten some good results uh, out of some actual EVPs just caught on camera while we're just walking around talking. And then we got some good ghost replies, uh, ghost box replies, should I say. Uh, so I had a little bit of time today while I'm out running errands to, I was like, well, let me stop by Parker and do a quick session or two. There's a lady back there in a pickup truck to see what she's doing. But anyway, I thought I'd come out here and just do a quick session or two, see if I could catch uh, an EVP and, uh, or a ghost box reply. And if there's something there, I'll post up this video. If there's nothing that was caught that was relevant at all that would make sense, then I'm not gonna post it up. So uh, if you have any questions, Put them in a the comment section down below if you're interested in uh, ghost boxes, if you're interested in EVPs, if you're interested in investigating, if you have any questions. Uh, I'm not an expert in ghost boxing. I'm not an expert in EVPs. I'm not an expert in paranormal investigation. Uh, I've been doing it for seven years and seven years is a drop in a bucket compared to a lot of people out there that have been doing this for 20, 30, 40, 50 years and have made it their life. Uh, I just try to, uh, you know, to me it's always fascinating when you can catch that one EVP voice. So I'm really curious, I'm gonna stop back by the house and see if I can catch anything that was possibly caught on audio from this camera 
Uh, it's funny because this camera right here, my little dash cam, when we went to Kansas to do the Stratica mine, uh, was that two years ago? This camera was actually in my car, and as I pulled up the Stratica mine, it picked up an EVP. It says the mine is still active. Active, like they're still digging. Digging. Just wanted to get it. Yep. It says the mine is still active. In the car, we hadn't even arrived at the location yet, so that tells you that they're around. There may be a couple inside the car with me right now. That it's it's mind-boggling. One day I'm going to do just a series of my deep thoughts about the paranormal and spirits or energies or souls or ghosts, whatever that you like to call it and some of my thoughts on where they are, why they pick out certain people to start talking to, and I think that they can talk to anybody. I think if you're willing to listen, they make note of it and they start talking to you. You just have to listen. And listening sometimes is the hardest part because you have to have a lot of patience, especially if you take a lot of footage. I mean, imagine you're out on an investigation and let's say, just for giggles, let's say you've got two DVR setups. So that's eight cameras. Each camera has a microphone that's recording audio into the DVR. So that's, and you're on an investigation, let's say for one hour. Just a one hour investigation. So you've got eight hours worth of video to watch every single second to see if anything was caught because one hour investigation, eight cameras, so you got eight hours that you have to watch every single thing and then you have to put headphones on and listen because there may be an EVP, there may be something that you had said that was picked up. So, you know, I always find this stuff fascinating, fascinating because I mean, you know, you you go to an investigation and you bring a bunch of cameras and you bring a handheld camera and you bring four or five different uh, IR cameras with you and you set those up remotely and then you've got your DVR set up and then you've got your microphone, your little digital audio recorder set up and you can see where a eight or 10 hour investigation now turns into 80, 90 hours of footage and recordings that you have to listen to every single second. And that's the key thing. And I will tell this to any, and I tell it to everybody that I ever meet that actually wants to get into the paranormal, and that's fine, but you have to review. If you don't review, you'll never catch anything. And you have to be meticulous. You can't review a little bit here, skip forward, review a little bit there. You have to review all of it, so. That's my little tidbit for today. I've got other stuff I've got to go do, and then I'm going to review this footage. And like I said, if there's anything there, I'll post it up. If there's nothing there, then this conversation never existed. Until next time, bye.